Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this video, and folks. And good night. And good night. That's like, that comes later, Sharon. Well. Today we're doing something a little bit different. It is a creamy mushroom, garlic, bacon, crustless quiche. That's it's, a hard word to say, isn't it? Isn't that just an omelette? Well, to me it is, yeah. Right, let's have a look, see what's involved. Right, now to me, this is probably an omelette. I don't know, you've read this somewhere, haven't you? Yeah, this and is a crustless quiche for low carb. People. And I said to her, when, I, when she said, has it got a crustless thing? I said, no crust around the edge, and also no crust underneath. Well, as I said to you, that's probably an omelette, isn't it? Yeah. Someone's gonna say, that's just an omelette. We've already said it, beat you to We've it. We've said it, we beat you to it. Anyway, to put it in the comments. let's have a look at the ingredients. Here are the ingredients to the crustless garlic mushroom quiche. Six large eggs, 300 grams of sliced mushrooms, 200 milliliters of single cream, three rashers of bacon, chopped, 130 grams of cheddar cheese, one red onion, finely chopped, four cloves of chopped garlic, 50 grams of baby spinach, some salt and pepper as seasoning. Right, so first things to do, Sharon, is what? Put the oven. on. Put the oil on. And then we're going to add some oil, olive oil. Right, now what are you going to do though? We're going to fry off the onions just till they soften a little bit. Well, I better give you them then. Thank you, my dear. My dear, you've never called me that before. Well, you guys are first time for everything. You've called me a few of the other things, but I won't mention yes, them on no, camera, no, Sharon. No, 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 no. Right, so we just chopped up this little red onion, this folks. Just one whole onion here. Right, okay. And we're just literally just going to sweat them off. Yeah. You're not really looking to colour them or cook no, them. No, just want to soften them off. And then we're, when that's done, we're going to add the mushroom, uh, yeah, the mushrooms and the garlic and bacon. Right, okay. So they're just a little bit sweated off now. So in with the bacon. She has cubed this bacon and cut it up pretty small, folks. God, as soon as bacon goes into a frying pan, Sharon, it smells fantastic, doesn't it? No, I think the onions for me. I love the smell of fried onions. Well, you can't beat onions and bacon. Well, no. So with the bacon, we're making sure that the bacon's pretty much looking cooked, Sharon, aren't we? Yeah. And then we can add the mushrooms next. So in go the large quantity of mushrooms there. They are just sliced, folks. And you may notice that we didn't put the garlic in yet. We're going to leave the garlic till last because we didn't want that gu uh, burnt garlic taste, Sharon, did we? No. So we'll just reduce the mushrooms now. They will let off some water and we'll cook the water off. And finally, we'll add in the uh, garlic after this. Time for me to get involved. While Sharon's just gently stirring that and reducing that, the rest of the ingredients I'm going to put in to a large jug and we're going to go in with the six eggs now i'm not going to just crack the eggs straight in there because sometimes you do get a dodgy egg so i'll just crack them into a container first which is basically a cup and then i'll put them into our mixing bowl so i'll just carry on and do them Right, six eggs into there. I'm now gonna pour in our 200 milliliters of... Single cream. Single cream, there you go. I thought it was double, baby. No, single. Right, let's get that in there. In goes our mature cheddar cheese, which has been grated, like that. Now, we'll have a look at Sharon's. That's coming down really nicely, look. As you can see, it does wilt down, and uh, you will get water come out of your mushrooms, but that's just to be expected. Just keep Not stirring them. Oh, Not a lot, that makes drink. a change, doesn't it? They usually drink all the oil yeah. that I found the mushrooms. Do you want your garlic in, baby? Yeah, I'll have my garlic in now. I'll help you out, look. I'm in, I'm in my low mood, Shay. I can't put your finger in there. Can you put your finger in there? What a for your garlic. Get Very it in. good for your garlic. Dracula didn't think oh, so, Shay. smell that now. I know. So, all I'm going to do, you can do this with a balloon whisk, folks. I'm just mixing it up with a fork. And just incorporate everything together. And I will season this rather than season that. Now bearing in mind, we like a bit of black pepper. Don't be frightened to put it in, folks. I like plenty of black pepper, Sharon, don't we? Well, we love pepper. Yeah, so do whack it in. And with the salt, I'm only going to put a little bit in because the bacon's quite salty. This is Himalayan pink salt. Just whisk that up. Oh, that's a lovely consistency. Now, I can not smell that garlic, Sharon. That smells lovely. We're going to add the spinach in a minute when he's finished mixing that. Right. I'm happy with that, so 
We've got our fresh baby spinach here. We're just going to let that wilt in there and then yeah. it's off, off the heat and all poured into but there. But I will rip it because sometimes the leaves can be really yeah. big, shall, can't they? All I'll do is just rip it, folks, look. Just let, drop it in. Just break it. It rips through it nice and easily, shall, actually, isn't it? Yeah. We keep the stalks on. They're all fresh and clean, these ones, anyway, so don't worry about that. And there you go. Half a bag of that stuff. Really good for you, folks. In fact, this is a low-carb quiche. It is. If you're, if you're not eating carbs, then this is probably the way to go, shall, isn't it? Do you it? know what? This might... Because I'm not a fan of omelettes, but perhaps if I call it Christmas quiche, I'll eat it. It's just a name, shall yeah, it? it is. It is. To me, it's an omelette, but... I don't... Yeah. It's going in a deep pie dish, isn't it? One of our silicone ones. Yeah, we've got to spray that. Yeah, that's one of these folks, by the way. Look, just our silicone ones. Your T-shirt says, best nanny ever, baby. Well, that's what my grandchildren say, because my they grandchildren do. designed All it. nannies are the look, best. Look, I've got all their little... And they're all on the back there. Look at that. Look, fantastic, them, aren't they? Yeah. Love them. I've actually got one with best granddad on. And sometimes, when we're out walking, people stop me and say, hold on. You're not the best granddad, I'm the best granddad, don't I? Women well, don't think that, but men do, don't they? So what are you doing now then, baby? Just adding this, and then in a minute, if you put some oil in that as well for me. Right. So just whack it all in, baby. There we go. Just transferring that into the uh, liquid, folks. Look at that. It smells really good. Again, it's a glorified omelette, Sharon. I'm sorry. I know, but I know it is. It this is. isn't our recipe, folks. You got this one out of a book, Sharon. Yeah. What, what book was it? Pinch of nom. Pinch of nom this come out of, folks, so we can't credit us for this one. But, no, it's uh, just one of the low carb meals in there. Yeah. Right, okay. I need some oil in that. There you go. Did you shake it first? Yeah. There you go, baby. It was your head I was shaking. Of course it was. Stop it now. Right, and then, then all you've got to do is transfer that into the bowl, that gloopy goodness, folks. Look at that, look. But the thing is with this, this right. cooks a lot longer. Oops, a lot, lot longer than right. you would an omelette. Right, well that dish here is an eight inch tin and that fits lovely into our cassouri yeah. jewel blaze, Sharon, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So if I get your drawer out. Don't you be getting me drawers out on air. Never get your drawers out on air, Sharon. And just tease oh. it in there, Sharon. This is the bit you see, because you right. use the flexible one. I'll tell you what, if you take it out of there first, put it onto there, slide it onto there. Come here, I'll help you. Just slide it onto there, lift that one end, I've got the other end. Slide it onto the tray. And then you can lift the tray in, you see? Do you want me to do that? Yeah, because I've got I have got fat fingers and I'm quite No, it's not that you've got fat fingers, baby, I'm clumsy. You're, cl you're clumsy. I was getting to that, fat fingers and clumsy. In fact, maybe next time, pour it in there when you've got it in there ready. We didn't think about that, did we? In fact, we might have to pour it lift out. Lift it up to me. See, this is the first time we've done this, folks, and we've we've basically buckled ourselves. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, Sharon. There's always a way. There's always a way. I'm gonna get out the old uh, silver foil trick, I think. This will help us. Again, what we should have done, as Sharon said, was pour it in there straight away when it was in the actual, put that in there, that's what we should have done, Sharon. But we can get over it, Sharon, because we can do this method, can't we? Yeah? <laughs> hey, you watching? Watch. I'll bring the drawer to you. Bring the drawer to me, baby. Right, now watch, watch, watch. Now, oh, 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 oh. I've spilt some of it. You broke the foil, the foil broke. Of course, broke. So. the foil broke, didn't it? Oh, I put the camera down. <laughs> cheap, cheap, cheap foil we use there, folks. Oh, dear. So, put the, your dish in. Yeah, put your dish in there first. And then pour and it And then in. pour it in. Well, I don't know why we didn't think of that, no. And to be honest with you. What are you doing now? I'm just taking it out, because I can take it out, look. I could have done it right. I've got to clear it out, Shia. I can't have that it's filthy in there, look. Look, you take the camera and I'll clean. We're leaving this bit in as well, folks. So yeah, you can see, it, it don't always go to plan. Right, take two. This time I'll lift it in. Yeah, but you lifted it in before, so I don't know what you're going like I that I don't know for. what I'm going like that for, Sha. There we go. Oh, hello. There we go, we did it. We did it, baby. We did it. Let's get a bit of tissue paper, hold on. I managed to do it that time. Ideally, folks, do it in, in a more sturdy dish than what we have. Or if you haven't got a sturdy dish. Or if you haven't dish. got a sturdy dish, as Sharon says, put the the silicone one in there first and pour the ingredients into it. You really don't know why I didn't do that. Yeah, we'll there leave, you go. Yeah, I'll be baby. We'll leave that in anyway, as I said, shall. I'll let you lift it into the uh, air fryer. There you go. So in she goes. Now you're putting this on for what? 150. Right. Just well, on air fry. Yeah. But 25 minutes. Right. And off she goes. We don't need to turn it, we don't need to do anything no. apart from that. We're going to have a little bit of a clean up, sit down, wait until that's cooked, and then we'll come back to you. 
and turn it out, this omelette, frittata, flam, whatever you want to call it. See you in a minute. Right, baby. 25 minutes later, yeah. you've been a bit busy making a salad. Yeah. So it has just pinged. We've, we have probed it, folks, but we'll just show you again. That is it after 25 minutes. Now, Sharon was a bit concerned that it was a bit floppy still, weren't you? Yeah. But we have put the probe in it. And if I just leave that in there, hold on. You can see that it's zooming up to over 70 degrees, which should be okay. So normally what I think you would do, you'd leave it to rest, wouldn't you? Yeah. So it can solidify. So we're going to literally just take it out of here and then we're going to let it sit for a while just till it cools down a bit and I think you'll find it will solidify, Sharon. We've taken it out of there, folks, because that's obviously holding a lot yeah, of heat there as down. well. Look, if you look down the side there. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Perhaps it's going to be all right then, Sharon. But that's the trouble, getting it out while it's hot out of this high top thing, isn't it? Mm. You'd have to turn it onto a plate and then turn it back over again, wouldn't you? Yeah. Should we try that? <laughs> oh, I know. We've never cooked this before, folks. This is, I say, not one of our recipes. So, do you want me to do it or you do it? You do it. Come you around here, then. I'm like. Right, so if it goes wrong, folks, it's not my fault, Sharon. No, it ain't my fault. You're <laughs> the one doing it. Right, you ready? So we put it over there. Don't forget, this is still really hot, folks. So I'm going to try and flip it over quick, pretty quick. Like that. Right, okay. That didn't go too bad, did it? So that's the bottom. It don't look too bad. I don't know if it is a little bit. It's a little bit, but don't forget eggshell. They tend to carry on cooking. Yeah. That's like when you make a scrambled egg, you don't normally make it until it goes really hard. Mm. They, they sort of do go a bit afterwards. So let's put that one on top now. I didn't do that too bad, did I? Look. Uh. Look at that, look. There you go. That's it, look at that. So that's the crustless garlic mushroom garlic bacon. mushrooms quiche quiche omelette. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we'll try and Mind cut you a bit up. That, you wouldn't have an omelette that thick. Well, of course you wouldn't. That makes no. it a frittata shell, doesn't it? That makes it, it a quiche. Or a Spanish omelette. It's if you had potatoes in it, which we could have done. But anyway, that's what we're making, folks. That's what we've made. Let's cut into it. Let's give it a little taste and see what it goes like. Right, okay, folks. It's not cold. We left it warm. We should have perhaps left it to when it got cold because it hasn't quite set in the middle no. shell. But that will go when you put it in the fridge and it cools off. Let's have a little go, Sharon. I'll let you go first. Just look at that. It's fantastic, isn't it? Again, it's not a quiche as we know it, shall? Mm, I love the taste of the garlic coming through straight You can away. taste the garlic. I How many cloves was that? Four cloves in there, there was. Right, I'm going for this end bit, shall? I can see bacon on there, I can see spinach, I can see mushroom, it's all there, shall? I've got to say, people. It's a vegetable party. It's not an omelette. Right, I'm going in, shall? Hold me up. Oh. Oh, it's definitely a quiche. It is, isn't it? But... I do <coughs> prefer one with a crust, I'll be honest with you. I do prefer one with a crust. It's very, very tasty. The ingredients are superb. And it does lack a crust, in my opinion. It's you I'm got this, happy with that. You got, yeah, I'm happy with it. I'd eat it, no worries. Because yeah, I've that. eaten frittata. And it's one step away from a frittata with a bit, a, bit, a bit of potato in there, shall I? I don't really like an omelette, but I'm liking that, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I think the depth of it is uh, what's confusing you, innit? Or, or making you think that it's not an omelette. I'll have another bit just to test. Of course you will. Well, while she's eating that, folks, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. Oh! What? I've got to say hello to somebody. Carry on. I'll have another dig in. While you're doing that, Sharon. Couple of Sundays. Oh. A couple of Sundays ago, Heidi was waiting for an ambulance for her husband, but she was actually live in our chat while they were waiting for the ambulance. Wow. And he's had to have a, a back operation. So, Steve, thank you for staying with us <laughs> while you're waiting for an ambulance. That's, that's loyalty. Unbelievable. And I really hope you're feeling better. And I'm sorry this is a bit late, but I've kept meaning to do it and we was away at the weekend, so... And I say hello, Steve, and hope you're feeling better. And well done to Heidi for keep waiting and watch us. <laughs> and also thank you to all the people who, again, we visited the Ragged Apron yes. quite a few times. We've seen quite, quite a few people. And um, I can't believe it, Shad. They've actually bought us breakfast, haven't they? Yeah. 
I've got their and name. We don't now. expect that at all, folks. So don't ever think that we expect that. That's just, it's just a nice view to turn up. And we have left some stickers behind the uh, counter at the Ragged Apron and also a book. If you want to sign the, the Butler's Empire book to show that you've been to the Ragged Apron, just ask one of the, uh, the staff there, can you sign the book? Leave us a little note. Or leave us a little note. And it's Elizabeth Sizer. Thank you very much. Yeah. That was, we were very grateful and taken back by that. And Lee was as well, because he was with us, and we all ate together that day. So we did that as well, so yeah. Thank so thank you very much, and sorry we missed you. Yep, yeah, we was there. A bit later on, weren't we? Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Don't forget, I hope you're enjoying our vlogs, which we're putting out. We have got lots of fun coming up as well. So um, we have uh, probably saw that we uh, met Dan and Mazzy, the travel trolls. Yeah, and also thanks for all that went over to them as ca well. Campsite Warden, quite a few of you have gone over there and subbed to their channels as well, which is great. And I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy their content as well. Anyway, don't forget, have a binge watch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because a lot of people aren't watching it via the subscription. Yeah. They're just watching it's it and then... It's free, people. You get nothing for nothing nowadays. So just click that and you're getting something for free. Of course you are, Shah. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Bye. Go on, you have that bit. I have that bit. It's something wrong somewhere, isn't there?